Is Russia pushing a vast population of the world towards hunger? Well, this is a question that everybody is asking. And also, is Russia weaponizing food? The question is being raised because Russia has pulled out from this Black Sea grain deal that was signed in July and uh, it was brokered by Turkey and United Nations for grain export. Russia says that it cannot guarantee safety of civilian ships that are running along the corridor which was considered safe corridor for these grain ships. Hello and welcome to India Today Digital. I'm Anjali Istavar. And in this video, we'll try to explain if Russia keeps this deal on suspension, what does this mean for the world? And what does it mean for that population that is on a brink of hunger and that population that is already sleeping hungry? Well, uh, World Food Programme has already said that year 2022 is a year of unprecedented hunger. 82.8 crore people go to bed hungry every day, according to the World Food Programme. Now, 47 million people are facing acute hunger. And if Russia does not come back on its promises and get back with this deal, then it's going to be a huge problem for many countries, especially Nigeria, Sudan, Yemen, Somalia. There are about 45 countries where millions of people are teetering on edge of famine. What is going to happen to those people? Let's first try and understand what exactly happened that Russia took this step. Well, this uh, pullback of Russia has been called a purely outrageous move by President Joe Biden. And they have also said that this is actually weaponization of food by Russia. This was said by the state secretary, uh, Secretary of State, pardon, uh, Antony Blinken. And uh, he said in a statement that any act by Russia to disrupt these critical grain exports is essentially a statement that people and families around the world should pay more for food or go hungry. Meanwhile, Russia claims that Ukraine used the safe corridor to attack Russian fleet with drones. According to them, about 16 drones attacked their fleet which is stationed in Black Sea and this attack happened using the help of civilian grain ship. Although Russia is saying that this attack came from that safe corridor, but uh, UN clearly says that at that particular point of time, there was no civilian grain ship that was present in uh, the safe corridor. Now, Ukraine says that Russia is actually just blackmailing the world with hunger because it can do so. Whereas Russia said that Ukraine attacked the Black Sea fleet and this was near uh, Sevastopol, which is actually the Russian and ex Crimean Peninsula. And they claim that 16 drones attacked uh, the Russian fleet. And in fact, they have also gone ahead and claimed that British Navy specialists had helped coordinate what they call a terrorist attack. Meanwhile, uh, Vladimir Zelensky said in a video address that uh, Russia should be kicked out of the G20. And they also said that this is com a completely transparent attempt by Russia to return to the threat of large-scale famine for Asia and for many countries in Africa. Now, let's try and understand why is it important to have that continuous export of grain uh, from Ukraine. Well, if you look at the data of pre-war, about 5 million metric tons every month of grains was exported from Ukraine. And this used to go to many countries in Africa and in Asia. In fact, if you look at it, uh, even countries like Bangladesh and Pakistan used to import a large amount of their wheat and many other grains from Ukraine. Now, to keep that sustained and so that there is no breakage, no uh, disruption or breakdown of this supply chain. There was a, a deal which was called the Black Sea Grain Deal which was signed in July. In fact, it was going to expire in November. But even before that could happen, uh, this pulling out or suspension of the deal happened from Russia's side. Meanwhile, uh, that deal ensured that there was a de facto ceasefire for the ships and the facilities of a city 
called Odessa, the, where the port, the Black Sea port is situated from where these grain ships used to go out to the world market and to many Asian and uh, African countries. Well, uh, Russia has now suspended this deal for indefinite term. Now, wheat imports are crucial in many of the world's least developed countries, mainly, as I said before, Africa and also the Middle East because they're not producing their own food. Now, countries like Somalia are completely dependent on wheat import. So, is, so are countries like Egypt, where 82% of their food or their grain is coming from outside and countries like Ukraine and Russia. But if you look at the recent years, a toxic cocktail of conflict within their own regions, climate change, COVID-19 pandemic that had already left millions exposed to food price shocks and vulnerable to further crises. In the midst of all this, we saw that uh, Russian war escalated this entire crisis and this problem. Now, it's not just countries in Africa and in Asia that are going to uh, have a negative impact of this deal breaking. Even European countries and the rich countries are going to feel the, uh, feel the burn. And that's because inflation impacts even them. Now, if the food crisis emerges in the world market, if there is a food crisis in a large part of the uh, world, this is going to impact the food prices in the rest of the world. This is going to lead to inflation. And if you look at the inflation in UK already, it has surged to 10.1% in October, which is one of the highest uh, ever seen. And uh, this is about 40, I'm sorry, it's a 40 year high that uh, UK has seen. And this is going to be extremely problematic for them. Not just UK, uh, UK of course is seeing a, a, for most of its citizens who are living uh, in a considerable poverty or uh, who are living on state support. For them, actually it is a choice between heating or eating in winters. Now if you look at Eurozone, inflation is uh, uh, on an upward trend even there also. It is uh, almost uh, recording the highs with the latest uh, estimate predicting annual Eurozone inflation of 9.9% compared to 3.4% almost a year ago. We are, if you look at the wider EU, uh, inflation is uh, ranging between uh, 10 to 11%. Baltic countries, they continue to be the hardest hit. Estonia has seen an increase of inflation from 6.8% in October 2021 last year to 22.4% in October 2022. There is no doubt that inflation is surging in almost all parts of the world. So if Russia does not keep its part of the deal in this Black Sea Grain Deal Agreement, then the world is going to feel the shock. Many people who are already facing hunger challenges, food challenges, food price challenges, could be pushed towards acute hunger. And this is exactly why the world is worried. Do tell us what you think about this video in the comment section and also subscribe to India Today for the latest news updates.